guys, it's Jason at Mustang Rehab. Um, wanted to do a quick video today on our rotisserie. Um, the rotisserie I designed back in 2009. Um, several people in, have commented over the last month and a half or so asking for details and just asking um, how, I, how I built it. So I figured uh, since we got the fenders put on yesterday, uh, I can get it back on the rotisserie and get underneath it and start finish the welding. But uh, while I do that, I'll show you guys, uh, just do a quick video on the rotisserie, show you how I hook it up and how it operates. It's a really neat design and I've actually found I could do so much more with it than just spin a car. I, I, used, I used it to set the tub in or the, the floor pan assembly and uh, you can use it as a, a lift. It's, it's pretty, um, pretty universal. So in, in 2009, we did, um, you know, go out for a patent pending and we're actively trying to sell the design, but uh, with the market, the market crashed and uh, things just didn't work out at that time. And I, we really haven't pursued it since. It's just been, uh, just been so much going on, you know, in life and work and everything else. So, anyways, I have one. It works great. Uh, I designed it, built it, never saw another one else like it. So, I'll show you guys how it works. All right, this is just one of the, the vertical legs. When I'm working on the Bronco, I take this off because I keep hitting my head on it. So, I just slide it off and get it out of the way. On that, as you can see, it's got a bolt on the top. I can lock it in place once it's there. So the, the full finished design, uh, this would be drilled out probably within every three to four inches and have several holes in it. I've never done that. I've only used it really at, uh, at one location. But uh, again, it was a prototype. So, so what I do is I'll get these two stood up and uh, I'll let the lift down just a little bit to keep these centered, locked in place. We'll do the back and then I'll let it slide down and then I pin it and then everything's hooked to the, the two post lift and then I'll show you the frame underneath. So this is where we start. Okay, I've got my verticals slid together, got them pinned, and then I just put these bolts on the top just to keep this from sliding. The likelihood of that happening is pretty slim because it, it's got lots of torque on it. But uh, I'm going to tighten this front and lift it up. Don't let me flip this thing over, the hood still is. Okay? I'm just, I'm telling Joni, I don't want to forget. <laughs> Wait. I'll just turn it on its side. Why don't you just attach the hood before we have a problem? Alright. Okay. All the blocks of wood I had underneath it. Uh, I haven't I haven't flipped it since we disassembled it. Alright. Some of the the downfalls to how I have it designed right now. I only had uh, 12 foot sticks of this 2 by 3 tubing in the shop when I decided I wanted to do this. And so the Bronco just barely fits, so as I told you on the last video, I can't put my grill on it because of the pivot. 
So uh, in the future, I will modify this and sort of extend this out a little bit so I can put the grill on and, and I can put the tailgate on. I can't put the tailgate on right now. But, uh, but it's still helpful, very useful. It was just, uh, again, doing what I, all I could do. So, uh, let me strap this thing plate? down real quick before she has a, a heart attack and we'll get right back to it. Well, I just know him, he'll forget. <laughs> I know, I've seen him do it. Can't see him oh, I've seen a lot. Um, wait, wait. What? Move the jacks out of the way so you don't hit the fender on it. Well, you never know what you're going to do. Just stay in. <laughs> you got some on the back side, too. Got to keep him straight. This is live and in person. <laughs> Let them see a little bit more. All right, well, you guys know the Bronco has eight mounting locations. And right now I've only got six, uh, six used. I'm gonna add one more here and on the other side. Uh, again, when I was putting this together, I, I didn't have the angle iron and I was in a hurry. So, and then you can also tell the how everything was just cut with a torch. I just, I rushed it, you know, no doubt. But, uh, anyways, it, it works well, and this is what I was talking about with you guys when I was doing the floor pan videos. Now, I can flip this thing over, I can get in here, and I can weld all these spot welds up on the Bronco, the floor pan. I can fix these little weird corners that were sort of screwed up um, and just make it really look nice underneath because I really like my vehicles to be as pretty and clean underneath as they are up top and uh, so it, it takes a lot of attention to detail but anyways back to the rotisserie two by three tubing uh, quarter inch wall um, it's, it worked real good. It doesn't flex much, but it does have a little bit, I'll be honest with you. It has, uh, I can see just a little bit of flex in it, and uh, that's why I'd have to put a couple washers in it every once in a while. When I was uh, putting the frame back together, you can tell there's a little bit of difference between the, the original Bronco, that I, the one that this is replacing, and where this one, is, where it's... Uh, body mount sit you know that one probably was a little bit tweaked a little bit bowed from over the years so uh, it's it whole wise has went back in the right place but anyways I, I had to sort of manipulate it with washers which is just like what you would do with washers putting your body back on a bronco because you you shim your your body mounts to make sure your body is working to be. same thing here but what I will end up doing is adding a piece of a strong back to it, which is probably a, a two inch, uh, three eighths plate to the bottom. And basically just give it one more little section, vertical section to help stiffen this, this bar up. And I'm gonna put casters on it. After it's extended, then this can also be my body cart. I can use this as a body cart and also use it as my rotisserie frame. So. My shop isn't that big, so I have to make sure I utilize as much, you know, use things for different purposes as much as possible. So, but it's pretty cut and dry. Oh, I didn't explain this, I'm sorry. This started out as a Mustang rotisserie. I, I made this for, to fit 67, 65, 66, 67, 68 Mustangs. And that's why it looks the way it does. It's, this bolts to the front, uh, unibody. And I have another piece that bolts to the back. So instead of reinventing the wheel, I just welded this to the top of the bars. 
and uh, I'm using my Mustang rotisserie for the Broncos. So, uh, up top, all this stuff is uh, extendable, so if I needed more clearance, I could make this higher, I could lower these if the car was wider. So there's all kinds of adjustability in this thing. Uh, I'm really trying to think, think about it a lot. My center bar, it collapses together, then I can pin it. But usually when I store it, I store it on my two post lift on the other side and I have a chain on it. So it actually sits here, right up to the roof. I chain it and so the two long sections just sit against. The rotisserie, there's not a whole lot I can tell you. It does the same thing any other rotisseries do. It flips the Bronco upside down. It makes it easy to do welding from on the bottom. So you're welding down rather than welding on your back and eating hot metal and getting it in your ear and up your nose and everywhere else. You know, I've had it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he really has. Oh, uh, there's some, some good stories with that. But, uh, but yeah, all you welders understand. You know, you burn it in a bead and it's in your shoe and you're going to keep that bead up until you're done and then you're going to, your foot's going to be fried for a week. But, uh, that's what we do. So, uh, anyways, it's, it works well. So it's fairly well, it's fairly well balanced. Uh, we'll get, get this thing welded up again. It's a rotisserie. But it's on a two-post lift by Jason. <laughs> so, we'll take that out. Yeah, yeah. Stupid. So, no, not. Not but, gonna do it. But I'm proud of this rotisserie. Uh, like a lot of the different things I do, it's it was a brainchild and was able to make it work. And uh, this kind of stuff is what I like to do. I like to. Just dream something up and make it happen. So uh, don't steal it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, rotisserie. I'm gonna get back on the Bronco, get back to welding, and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all your thumbs up, good comments, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. And Joni's breathing hard at me because I'm talking so much. I'm just gonna keep talking because it aggravates the fire out of her. So. Literally fire because it's like 125 <laughs> degrees in here <laughs> and we can't run the fan because it's too noisy. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>